So guys, welcome back to the channel. We really do appreciate you tuning in and watching. If you are new to the channel, we are the Kenna Family Adventures. We are a family of five from Northern Ireland. We love to travel, not only to make memories for ourselves, but to help others by sharing our experiences to destinations like Walt Disney World Florida, Universal Orlando, Disneyland in California, as well as other locations around the world in the hope of helping others through providing hints and tips to make you get the best out of your travel. We're here for 10 amazing days, taking in all three Universal parks. We have Discovery Cove, SeaWorld, and we have a special Disney day thrown in there too. So hit that subscribe button and come along with is. So you lot, what have we got here? Subways. Ooh. Oh, what's that? A foot long? A foot long meatball marinara. Yeah. With uh, lettuce, tomato, red onion and uh, chipotle sauce. No way, what have you got? I have meatball. Um, meatball and just lots of meat inside of mine. Jake? I have um, so I've got Italian bread, Ooh. toasted, ham, salami and pepperoni, and that's it. Lovely, there's me, a ham one, yeah? Looks delicious. What are you? Teriyaki chicken. So we are back in Universal. We had our lunch and we caught a lift XL over to um, City Walk. Unfortunately, we just got out the car and as soon as the car drove off we realised that Jacob had left his wand on the back seat and we always take a, a video when we get out of a lift anyway to make sure that the lift car is exactly the way it should be when we got in because we have read on its Orlando time that sometimes drivers can say that people have left the seat wet and then you get a bill or whatever so just to avoid any confusion I always just do a quick video around the back of the car where the kids have sat to confirm that everything was the way it was when we got in when we left it and looking back at that video the wand is sitting in the seat so contacted the driver hopefully fingers crossed we'll hear back from him and we'll get the wand back later we have a little bit of an upset jokes right now but fingers crossed we'll get it back later fingers crossed a little bit of universal magic hopefully huh yeah yeah okay so the plan is we're gonna head into islands aren't we hey, see, what, what do you want to do uh, king kong. King she kong is desperate she for king kong. kong so we're gonna go and check out the ride times and see what we can get on what do you like about king kong it's the bit where it looks like the dragons are trying to break into the little part that we're in and i like it when king kong she likes when King Kong saves us from a dinosaur. That's lovely. That if is. anyone doesn't know, if you haven't watched any of our previous vlogs, Esme's favourite animal is a monkey. Yes. So that's why she loves King Kong so much. Noah, what are we looking forward to? Um, hopefully a Velocicoaster, but if we can't do that today, then I hope we can do like another park or um, just like everything doing King Kong because it is one of my favourites. I think we might just have to bite the bullet and queue up for Velocicoaster if yeah. it's working. We did check that out earlier it was and it down. was closed, so we'll see if it's but back it up. Is, and it is back up oh. and it's 105 minutes. We just inquired there about upgrading Paul's ticket to an annual pass and to upgrade it to the lowest annual pass, the seasonal pass, the one that has a few blackout dates, it would actually only be $25. So that was an absolutely amazing price. I think she said $28 with tax. So that is an amazing price to upgrade Paul's ticket. Um, now we couldn't do it until the day that we leave because of the blackout dates. If we were to upgrade now, the blackout, the blackout dates will kick in straight away, which means we can't get in this weekend because this weekend is President's weekend. So we would have to wait till we go home. So we've got time to decide. Um, my tickets are different. My tickets, because I am a travel agent and I book my tickets through work, um, the pricing is different and the way it's done. So. Well, I need to work out if it's still going to be as beneficial as the tickets I get. So we have just come to um, reactivate the car. 
for the day. How much was it, Paul? 12 dollars $12.77 with tax. That's quite good, isn't it? Noah's happy. He's got his ICs for the day. Yes. And we're just going to take a little look over here at the Ripsaw Falls. Park Cuser is showing quite good. We're showing 15 minutes for Jurassic World River Adventure, 30 minutes for a Kong. So I think we're going to go and jump on that. Sky is lovely. It's a really nice temperature actually. It's not too hot. Lots of people putting on their ponchos. Paul's not keen for the water rise, but we love them. Here we go, King Kong take two. Where's Esme? There she is. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's do this. So we're just off Kong. That was brilliant. We were sat right in the front this time. Yeah. So good. I could feel the dinosaurs breath in every yeah, the same. And I got wet this time. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. soup. <laughs> Eddie is buzzing. She's so happy that she got to back, get back on this ride. Yeah, she got so Yeah, the door, they had about the five goes that closed the door. I think it must be magnetic or something, but they got there in the end. I was just saying, we were front row that time, and I was on the left hand side rather than the other. So I think it, you get a slightly different perspective with the yeah. same 3D screens, yeah. but it's done so well. And you're thinking, you, you think you're going to get eaten at one stage. It's so well done. Really good. I enjoyed that. taking her to a park where she wasn't tall enough for anything or had to go on baby rides. Yeah, I had to go on toddler rides and baby rides. And that just was not on, was it, huh? No, it was because she wanted a bit too big for me. Yeah. Only a little. A couple of years and then she'll be on all those big coasters. Oh, you know, uh, uh, crack and whatever it's called, uh, anything yet about the wand hopefully soon ah, here we are the seats look bad for me so we're off Jurassic Park and we are soaked aren't we how is everyone hey. I'm soaking we are wet Ezzy let's see you Ezzy you're all silky uh, I'm all wet uh, I'm cold look, I, well, look, I've got it all here look at my face man. I need to wonder why it was on my glasses do you know what the middle seat is the best seat because you get really bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you tip over that edge and you're coming down, it's quite a steep drop. And uh, when you're going down, you just think, you know what, you just have to embrace it. Just go for it. <laughs> Breathe in, put my glasses down and just took it in the face. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's one, it's one of those ones that uh, spout water out. Oh, it is. It's one of the ones that spout water at you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Jurassic World shop. Oh, these are pretty cool. Pictures, I want to see pictures. We were right on the front row, so we're gonna go and see the picture. Oh, look at the car. <laughs> look at Jim. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Jake. Jake, did you put that with your head down? Yeah, he did. Ezzy, your face is hilarious there. It just goes to show you. 
I did see your face because you just love that ride, don't you? Yeah, I was like this. Uh, <laughs> I knew I was, I was like, ah! And she goes, wait till you see my face. She really looks like she's super scared. Well done, baby. So we are coming in, you see me. We're coming in to do uh, yeah, Forbidden Journey, uh, which is inside the castle. Can't wait to do this. So um, we're going to do child swap because me and the boys are going to go in first and then we'll switch over to uh, Jen can go in after. I'm excited for this one. So Paul says this ride is very similar to Batman in WB World it's and It's the Abu same Dhabi. ride system. And that made me feel really sick. So we've quickly just put a drama mean in there, haven't we, Paul? We have. <laughs> and we'll see how we go. Ooh, I'm going to show you what we can see. Oh, yeah, you're tall enough. As a Aww. happily. I love the theming in here. This is great. Very uh, castle y, isn't it? It's incredible, isn't it? Isn't it? It's incredible. like when him and Ron go on their midnight.
Anyway, we thought you might rather watch the game of Quidditch than listen to Bins, but we'll have to sneak you out of the castle and down to the pitch, and we reckon the best way of doing that was to fly you there. into the Harry Potter shop they have night dresses and look cups let's see how much the cups are look there's a pint glass for your daddy $19 look they're so cute that is very cool we have a tradition that we always or well, we used to anyway get called pint take a pint glass right yeah a broomstick oh a broomstick oh, wow. look at the little mini bags I like the bags. Oh, many ones. Little teeny tiny ones. They would fit in the lot of Where is Mary? Look at the hoodies. Oh, stab me with it, Esme. Cute. So what did we all think of that then? That was that really good. I thought that was so good. It is, it is quite motiony. Yeah. I feel fine. Yeah. And I don't know if that's the drama mean that's kicked in. But or do you know what? The, the, if it's just the whole thing thing of it from the outside to the queue line yeah. to when you're on that show, it's all based around Hogwarts and the, the Quidditch pitch yeah. and all that. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. incredible. So, so, so good. Yeah, I yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah. It's a strange one, yeah. <laughs> so guys, it's so good to be back in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. That replica of the Hogwarts Express you can see there is just to the right hand side of the entrance to Hagra's magical motorbike journey. We're now heading over to Hogsmeade Station uh, to go on the Hogwarts Express across to Universal Studios. Now you do need a park to park ticket for this, so if you only have a one day one park, you won't be able to use this or uh, go on this attraction. You need to have access to both parks and they do check that strictly before you go on. But we've been so excited they haven't done this before and we've been uh, looking forward to it so much. Like everything in the theme parks, wait times can vary. You can just keep an eye on it on the app. I think this day it was showing up maybe like 20 minutes, something like that. I know everyone says it, but the theming within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is just set to none. You can see the station staff here all in full character and they were all absolutely great. They all really went along with it, which was fabulous. It's just a short walk through some beautifully landscaped and themed uh, part of the park to get to the actual station itself and, uh, and then you're waiting for the train. I feel they've gone all out for this part of the park, not only of the theming and the attention to detail that you come to expect from Universal, but it's actually really, really pretty. It's, it's beautiful to look at. They've left no stone unturned by way of making it seem so, so real. It really does look like some train stations I've been to throughout the UK. Well, here we were about six and a half hours at Hogmeade Station. 
six and a half hours. Yeah, I could have built a train quicker. <laughs> oh yeah. We are, yeah, we're here, we're at Hogan Station. That looks like that train is full and then we'll get, we'll be on the next one, fingers crossed. So, shouldn't be too much longer. Looking forward to this because it's a ride in itself. So. Be here any minute. Is he funny? Is he? A little bit. Not really. Is he funny? Yeah. No. Oh, thank you, honey. Jake's how are we feeling? Good. Are we still sad about this wand? We'll get it back. Cross them fingers. Here it comes. That was quick. There's definitely two. Of course, there's a crossover. Jax, who would you be if we were on the Hogwarts train? Harry. Harry, Ezzy. Hermione. Of course you are, and you're gorgeous. Mum, who would you be? Hermione. <laughs> 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 what is that? Yeah, so whatever. You'd be like, yeah, I'm a professional Who? What about this one? Let's keep the Let's keep the What about this one? Oh, oh. Hippogriff. Buckwheat. Yeah, I told you, all this is based on the third year of Spiders in here. 
Did you really have to do that? Honestly, they're just sweet. Oh, I am. So it's coming into London. It's the same thing you see when you go in. Yeah, it is. It's like Battersea, isn't it? You see that when you're going in on the uh, Victoria Line. Ah, oh, so cool. It is cool, it shows you this and then. Yeah, it's outside and you go, oh. So we really wanted to focus on rides we hadn't done before so we headed straight for Fast and Furious I think it was showing up as like a 10 minute wait which was great um, the queue line for this was fantastic the kids were in awe of all the cars the ones that are used within the movie uh, and it really felt you were on a, on a set so yeah I know this ride splits uh, opinion uh, a lot of people hate it it's won worst ride awards and things like that but we wanted to give it a go you can't come and not do it um, ultimately yeah it, it it wasn't amazing, <laughs> I have to be honest. The whole story was a bit dodge and the uh, the effects weren't the best, but look, it's one of those ones you had to do it. We're only, we don't know when we're gonna come back to Universal, so we wanted to get on that party bus and give it a go. Kenneth, tell me about, what was it? That was Fast and Furious, Noah. in the middle. It's in the middle, Jax. in the middle. In the middle, Mummy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what the ride was. Um, <laughs> Ezzy, <laughs> Ezzy, did you like it, honey? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, look, she's super excited. Careful, Babs. Some bits in Yeah, it's it. nice to do that as a family. Um, I'm not sure I'm bought into the, uh, <laughs> to the story or the backstory. Yeah, because some that, bits I was, were dumb. He jumps onto an over. helicopter, then he looks at you and says, I got this. Like, yeah, who, who gets it whenever they're just sitting on the helicopter at the bottom like this? Welcome recruits. You honour us with your alliance. So we come down to do Minions Villain Con, which is the new shooting game. This only opened last year, I think. So yeah, we've never done it before. Do it the first time. It's something again. We want to do more things we can all do together rather than get separated. So we're all down to this. This is the one that has the big fancy shooting guns, I think. So we we'll just have to see how how everyone gets on. I'm not sure how big they are compared to Esme. 
but um, yeah, we'll have a look. I'm normally okay at these, but we'll just have to see when we get on. So we've been looking forward to this one immensely. Uh, again, queue line, absolutely fantastic. You see all the old uh, baddies from the Minions movies, uh, Balthazar, Brat there, uh, probably one of the most famous. Um, and when you come in, it's like you're coming into villain con. It's like all the villains are there for a big, a big conference. Um, you can buy guns, things for your sidekicks, companions, you can book uh, travel, you can buy clothes booby traps and all other types of contraptions you might want if you were a bona fide villain. The unique thing about this shooting ride is that you're not in a ride system and um, there's no car and that you're sitting in. You're on a travel lane. you see the dots on the floor there. So you stand on your dots, you're given a number and it moves around. The benefit of that is it gives everyone the same angle and the same opportunity to shoot. Now, I'm not convinced with the accuracy of the guns because uh, I did get beat by the keys, but I don't think they're as sensitive as some of the other shooting games available at Uni Universal. But it was fun. It's something we can all do together and it didn't take too long. Well, Birdie, what did you think of that? What was good about it? Um, I got 226 uh, points. You got more than me. Like, that's like the kind of gun that we shoot with. That's quite cute, isn't it? Uh, you got some minion merchandise in here. Oh, look, a minion. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, real minions. Let's see how much they are. They're $30. They're quite cute. He's cute. $30. Mummy, like I've got the long... Like I've got the long... Yeah, he's like your washy-squashy, isn't he? Oh, look at these wee bags. Is that a lounge Ooh. fly? It is a lounge fly. Cute. Look, this one's got a It's the same colour as your hoodie. There they are. Well, boys, how was it? Jacob won. He got 277,000. Jacob! Nice one, dude. I got 130. He's so more than double me. And you got, what, 160? Uh, 167. Mummy. Do you know what the thing is? The problem is he, there's not enough of the things you need to shoot at. There's no. loads of people. And you think that wasn't even full. Yeah. There's not enough things. You disappear very quickly. And then you don't know what you're shooting at sometimes. Because someone know had a higher yeah. score and he kept shooting things. And yeah. then his, his points were going down. I, I had 100. I was really on 167,000 and I was like, what happened here? So Jen was able to capture some of this footage of the Mardi Gras parade that was on. This is on at 7.45 p.m. every night of the Mardi Gras event. Um, we didn't uh, unfortunately get a chance to stand and watch the whole uh, parade any evening we were there. So I want to put this little bit in so you can see it. There's lots going on. There was hundreds of people lined up to see it. Um, it really was uh, lovely. There were tons of dancers, people on stilts, driving motorbike, driving cars. There were, of course, huge big floats that were all themed of different uh, different rides and things like that. It was great, it was fantastic um, and definitely worth seeing if you're there during the Mardi Gras event. It's worth uh, timing it so you can get there for 7.45, pick a spot and, uh, and take it all in. The people on the floats throw out the multicolored purple, yellow and green. Mardi Gras beads. Uh, we got these when we were staying at Portland's French Quarter on Disney property, but we've seen people later this evening walking around with absolutely tons of these. I mean, like 50 necklaces around their neck. They must give away thousands and thousands of them. Like, um, was more like a simulator ride. 
he did move around a bit. I wouldn't say it was a flying theatre. It looked that way when we went in. <laughs> I'd say it's maybe a bit more like Star Tours, but better. Yeah? I don't. I haven't been. Yeah, you have. I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't remember. You mean guys with their resistance? Ah, oh, no. It wasn't like that. No. I'll get back to you I, on that one. <laughs> I don't remember. So the boys are just on here. This is Rip Ride Rocket. Ooh, my Jacob's on there. Oh. They're crazy as me, aren't they? Yeah. Boys, how was Rip Ride Rocket? Yeah, what, what song do you go for? The Sandstorm. The Sandstorm. Good choice, I had that too. Yeah? Jax? It chose for me. It chose for you. Was, was that a country song or was it hip-hop? I think it might have been hip-hop. Hip-hop, okay. I think there was a Kendrick Lamar one on there. What do you think of the ride? Was it intense? So intense. <laughs> it feels like whenever you're going up vertically, um, it feels like you're tilted backwards. So yeah? It's like you're going this way. Oh. Except for you're on this side. Scary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. First time we've done that. Uh, Rip Ride Rocket. That was excellent. It was so good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, you just have a lap bar across, um, similar to what you do with Meko at Sea World. Um, that was good. That was intense. It's fast. It's good going. Do you know what the the loading system they have going on in there is fantastic. They said it was a 35 minute queue. It wasn't. It's was only about 20 minutes. They actually have four cars going round and they, they, they whipping them on, whip them off really quickly. They have a moving walkway to keep it flowing. So yeah, really good ride. Definitely want to do that one again. Do you enjoy yes. it, Sam? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah can't wait for that. So I think we're done in here now. Um, it is uh, seven o'clock. Everyone's emptying out. The park's officially closed. They had the Mardi Gras parade there. We missed it, but we'll catch it another night. Um, I think it's on every night from, from about half six or something. So we are going to head back and um, we're going to head back and go for some to eat. I still don't know where we're going. It could end up in Miller's Ale House because it's just across the road from the hotel. And we love Miller's. So we want to do that. No, would you help me Miller's? Uh, yeah. yeah, I do love a Miller's. Um, it's nice to go and sit down somewhere as well. So um, we'll let you know where we end up, but we're heading out of the park right now. Yeah, for the first time. Yeah. 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 Good morning, guys. So we did it again. We <laughs> we finished off in the park. We stayed in the park closing at Universal Studios. Went for a bite to eat at uh, Panda Express, and then as he was lagging a little bit, so we jumped on the shuttle back to the hotel, and everyone was busted. We just fell asleep really quickly, so we forgot to finish the vlog again. Um, become a bit of a habit this holiday. So look, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We did Sea World and then Universal, uh, both Islands Adventure and Universal Studios. Um, and then a bright day, didn't we? Ended up a great day. It just yeah. goes to show you, sometimes you have to have that go with the flow mentality. Yeah, you do. We went to Sea World super excited <laughs> and I actually realized quite quickly it just was and we weren't feeling it yeah. given the, the heights requirements and things like that. So we jumped in, uh, we jumped in an Uber and went up Universal and finish the day off there and end up having an incredible day. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video today, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you never miss a video ever again. Yeah, thank you so much guys. Bye.